All right, boys, what's up? It's early in the morning, 6.58. I gotta head to work here in a minute, but I want to do a quick review on my accelerator bagger. This is one year later. I don't know if you can see that, you probably can. Right here's a couple little, couple little dents where the nuts hit it. Doesn't affect it at all. This bagger has been very, very durable, no issues no quality issues nothing like that um when you want to dump it all you got to do is pull this and this is one-handed by the way you pick it up and that hinge right there you can just pull this door off boom so usually like you carry it over to wherever you want to dump it on the truck or on the tarp or the woods or whatever you just carry the whole bagger over there and then you um take this off and uh, just dump it out and that's really that's all there is to it you see this is all one-handed you just put it back on so two hands it's really fast um yeah it's easy i mean uh i uh even sometimes when i'm sitting on the mower like sometimes i like to pull up to an area of the yard and take the bagger off and mulch all the leaves around like into the middle and then put it on so even sometimes when i'm driving up to the yard and even while sitting on the mower one-handed a lot of times you can pick it up and pull it off and take it off even sometimes one-handed um it's pretty light you know really light that's the benefit of it being aluminum um this is my snapper pro s50 um and uh so yeah it's my snapper pro s50 um and come you uh you call these people and they give you you know and you give them all the model number and stuff off your mower and they'll get you the perfect uh get you the the correct opening on your deck and um set you up with the right bracket right here and the right um opening on the bagger itself and so um yeah and it comes like if you have an x mark or something you don't even have to use a bracket it already comes with the whole you just tell them what model you have and you don't even need, need a bracket you just put it in the hole but see on the icd deck there's nothing there so you have to put a, a bracket but the bracket have no issues with it either a couple bolts you just got to drill a couple holes line it make sure everything's lined up first i have another video of installing that and i can put that in the link description below if you want to check that out but you know hey i don't really have much to say about the bagger um not much bad i mean uh I've had it for a year and it does it does exactly um does exactly what you would expect it to do you know it catches good um it, it flows through there real nice uh you know it fills it up really tight especially with the high lift blades right now you know during leaf season I run the mulching style like gator style blades still fills it up to at least 90 percent even with all those blades and um uh mr damon from accelerators um last year told me to run like two gator blades and one lift blade and i did that and that works great too but i love running all the mulching blades that way it helps kind of chop it up some as it goes in there i don't use it on every yard um and that's one of the great things about this style bagger is if you don't use it on every yard you can easily just take it off because think about if you had like a whole if you had a whole big fan assembly and you had all the bags back there and all that stuff it would uh be much harder you know much longer of a process to take it on and off you know if you don't want to bag every yard or anything there are some benefits to those kind of baggers it does chop up the stuff um probably a little better um but they're really expensive it's like three thousand bucks for the model for this mower and this is only 600 bucks um so there are a lot of benefits to having this if you don't need to bag all the time or if you're like me i mainly use it for leaves for leaves is really what i use it for um you can get these in different sizes and you can buy the extensions so you could make it hold more if you had one of the smaller ones yeah i think you, you could even put the extension the extender on this bagger um if you're going to use it for leaves because you know that's that's a lot of weight just the grass weight you know it's a lot of weight um if you're going to use it for grass with the extender but i know people that even on this jumbo one they put an extender for leaves because the leaves are generally pretty light you know unless it's um been raining or something um so that's really that's really my uh my time with the uh, with the bagger uh 
or that's really my uh, thoughts about it. I'll show you the bottom. Um, Cause you know, I have, uh, I have scraped it on a few things here and there. You know, that's just how it is, but I'm, I'm trying to be pretty careful with it. And so, but still no damage. All the welds still look great. The welds are intact. Um, yeah, it's a great bagger. If you're looking for a side catcher type bagger, I think that the accelerator one is the only way to go. That's why I bought this one, done a lot of research where I bought it. Um, like way light, way lighter than the steel ones. It does cost a bit. Like this jumbo one is like around 600 bucks. Um, but guys, it's a business investment, you know, and it will, it will help you. And I, I like it because some situations, you know, I can just have it in the back of my truck or my trailer. If I need it, I can throw it on there. If not, I put my little block, I put my little uh, block off plate. I just made a little wood block off plate that can mount on this same bracket, you know, for the bagger. Y'all seen that a lot of my videos. So I just put that back on when I'm not using this. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward product. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, nothing more, nothing less, you know, like it's a, um, you know, if you're using the lift blades or even the mulching blades, it will fill up pretty fast. So that's why I like to like go around a big circle and kind of mulch them up first. And then I can pick up all the leftover stuff with it. And um, so that's really cool. I also just got the dust cover in. And so I'm going to be putting that on here just to even cut down on the dust because the you know a lot of people talk about the dust on these and that that is a problem like here in the south like you'll be sitting on the mower and as you're mowing along you know dust is just coming out of here and the sides and everything i think the dust cover probably would you know common sense tells me that it would cut down on the airflow a little bit because you know the air just flows all through here and that's why it fills up so good and it works so well because the air comes out um but i still I still want to use the dust cover because if I use the dust cover, it's going to be way more of a enjoyable experience for me running this this bagger. And so I'm going to be putting that on here too. It's basically like it just bolts down through here. It's just like a piece of fabric it goes here and there. And so I'm excited about that too, and I'll I'll show that to you guys once I get that on. But this is just a a review on the bagger. I've had it for one year. I bought it in September of 2018. Now we're it's November of 2019 so actually we've had it longer than a year and it's been great it does exactly um what it's supposed to do and so yeah i just i realized that i haven't haven't made a review really on this bagger yet catcher bagger i guess technically it's called a catcher but i realized that i haven't really technically made a review on it so i want to do that and i better get to work 706 whoo i gotta go all right well, let me load this stuff up and I'll get out of your way. Thank you for watching my review video. If y'all are new to my channel, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. We'll catch you soon.